Hello, this is JP. I'm just going to record this quick video to show you what the market situation is right now, specifically in Kelowna. So I'm on the Home Price Index. This is a calculation that uses many different factors, not just like an average home sale price. This takes into consideration a lot of things, and it only takes into account really the homes that have sold more than once. Uh, that way, they're able to take the other sold data and compare it to recent sold data. That is, it gives a more accurate picture of the, the market. So right now in here, I have selected, I'm going to do benchmark price, central Okanagan, single family homes, and I've selected different areas that will kind of give a good variety of the range of the, the locations in town. So Black Mountain on the um, east side of the, of the town, Glenmore on the north, and then Upper Mission on the south side. Um, and if we really want to, we can do uh, West Bank Center. We can add that in there so that we add it to the west of the bridge. But you'll see that the variety of all of these show fairly similar charts, so it doesn't necessarily matter where you are, just that the pricing is gonna vary. But otherwise, it's a very similar chart. So what I have here is over the course of the last, since 2005 is what I have here. Um, again, single families, this is the benchmark price and this is the years. So you can see that over the course of time, uh, the market peaked around March of 2022 and that's right when they started implementing the interest rate increases. So as we go down, you can see that we've continued the market dropping. Um, in June, we had another rate increase and then in September, again, another rate increase. So that's where we are right now is where the market is continually still in a downturn market. Uh, from peak uh, down to where we are now, we've dropped from about 1.5 to 1.2, so a significant drop uh, in the home price index. Um, now, if we look here on another form of data, this is the last 10 years. This is the closing price, so the sale price, to the original price. So this will show you basically from comparatively what they listed at to what they actually got. So in this chart, you can see that for the most part in the last year, we were at around 100 to even 102% of asking price. But that was not typical. In most markets, we would see that the housing prices would be listed and sold at around 90, no, 94% to around 98% of asking prices where they would usually sell for. But since the March, really, uh, of this year, you see March right there, uh, we've dropped significantly to we're down to 94% of asking price from around 102%. So a significant drop. Um, we're not seeing full uh, full asking price sales really happening right now anymore. We're down significantly. So the sellers need to adjust on their, their pricing strategies um, in order to stay ahead of the market and sell their home. Another thing that we're going to show here is last 10 years, months of inventory. So this is the months of inventory. These are the years. Basically what the months of inventory means is the that's how many months we have if we continue to sell out without getting any new inventory that we would have zero inventory at the end of that many months. So for the most of 2021 and into 2022, part of 2020 as well, you can see we were hovering around one to two months of inventory. So at that point we had super historically low inventory levels uh, but as you can see here, since about March-ish, there we go, April, we've skyrocketed now to around seven months of inventory. So it's a significant jump up, uh, and that just goes to show that there's a lot more inventory now in the market than there was for the majority of COVID. And that means that buyers have more choices that they can choose from, which means they're typically going to go after prices that are more affordable, and they're going to go after homes that are of better quality. So that is the overview of the market right now. We have higher inventory levels, prices are coming down, we're not seeing homes being sold at the full asking price anymore, there's more negotiation. And overall, the, the market itself has dropped around 15 to 30%, depending on the location of that home and uh, what kind of inventory we're looking at. So it really depends a lot of factors related to seller's motivation and the home style that if the you know if the home is in disrepair or if there's tenant issues every home is unique and every situation is unique but overall the market itself is in a downturn bear market same thing with the stock market and the global economy everything is kind of going downwards right now 
I don't suspect we're going to see things kind of stabilizing probably until spring because we're estimated anticipating to see another three interest rate increases by the time of March, April of next year, smaller, but still increases, which is going to continue to drop the market overall. Uh, once we see that balancing out in springtime, buyers will become more confident and comfortable with the factors of the uncertainty is gone in the market. Everything's going to be priced in. Prices are going to be bottomed out, and that's when buyers are going to come back in. The market will start to rise again. So if you have any questions about the market, feel free to reach out to me, and I look forward to working with you.